Charles Uberg. Yeah. Finally, in the UFC, I know it's been kind of a long time coming. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Yeah, it's definitely been a long time coming for me. And, you know, um, having visioned this for a long time and, and working so hard to get to this point, we're finally here and we're in Vegas and it's, it's within days that we get to fight in the UFC, uh, something that I've been working hard for over the last um, years, if, uh, if I might say. And, um, and I've got a great team around me. I've, I've, got, I've got a great coaching, great coaching team and great support back home as well so and I'm feeling great I'm feeling phenomenal man it's um it's been a great camp for myself and and uh and saying that you know ha having to suffer through through the trainings I, I, don't, I don't enjoy it every every moment of it but I'll quickly remind myself that you know if I if I can get myself through all the suffering and, and the training the hard trainings the gruesome trainings then I'll be able to live the rest of my life, you know, knowing that you know I gave it my all and 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 um, and be becoming a winner, so or a champion. So it's um, it's it's more of now now is the time and and uh, my now at this point now, all that hard training is gone and and I'm feeling great. Now it's more mental side now. It's the easy time. It's the easy part now where I get to sit down, do a lot more reading, more more focusing on on. Um, on my technical sides and, and and sit down and do all that kind of study so um, I'm feeling feeling calm feeling content with with myself and I'm pretty I'm pretty confident man I'm oozing with it did um after winning the on the contender of series shot did that like motivate you to get in the gym and maybe like train in areas that you weren't so confident in yeah well after after getting that win uh an astonishing one. In fact, uh, it was it was, you know, I had to get I had to. Well, we actually got stuck in San Diego for about six seven weeks. Um, we still had our training, and then we went home. We had two weeks in quarantine, and I didn't really have time to to celebrate the fact that I got into the UFC. Well, that's okay. It was more um, where. I got myself straight into training, straight into a camp where I got a fight right away, which was awesome. And um, you know, I didn't really get the time to celebrate it or or, or anything. But now, you know, we're we're here and we're feeling good. So it's um, it's more of I know there's more for me to accomplish. Um, there's not really time for me to sit down and and, and celebrate it because um, I know that you know to get to the world title or to get to that top that top niche I need to I need to stay busy I need to stay active but I've been training and, and working more on my on the on, on the um, areas that I need to work on uh, doing a lot more wrestling I spent my time in in uh, San Diego doing uh, working on my jiu-jitsu with Andre Garval and, and his amazing team there so I built a lot of my um, my arsenal, if you might say, and um, now I'm feeling well armed, well equipped with with everything, and confident that I'll be able to, you know, God willing, be able to get through this and 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 do it comfortably, and be able to work on a lot of my craft that I've that I've been able to to sharpen. How um how comforting <coughs> is it that you literally went through the same motions of like this hotel? the same arena like five months ago you know mm. how comforting is that for your like you know visualization yeah it's it's definitely comforting that I I've been here before and I've done it and uh, it seems like you know I've, I've just it was just yesterday that this all happened I mean but it was last year November um, which was a couple months ago but it seems like you know I've remembered a lot of the people's names um, uh, with with officials here at the UFC, and it, it feels like it's only it was only just yesterday. So um, I was and it was a lot easier to visualize everything, and and um, and I feel comfortable with where I am, and I know I belong here, and um, I'm happy that I've got a great team and all the you know the family that are around us now. So um, like yourself, man, you know. So it's 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 good to to be in this in this in this group and this amazing uh, team, so.
Well, you talk to me a little about the team chemistry that was going on. I mean, you had three, um, you had like Junior and Hemi, and then obviously you three guys, and then like Brad coming up. Like everyone is in full force in camp. How does that like help motivate you? Yeah, so we had a massive um, group or camp um, all around the gym. So we had Junior Far who fought for an amazing, um, for his, for something that he's been working hard towards as well. He fought Joseph Parker who was a, who was a um, world champion, a recent world champion. And um, we had Hemi Ahil who needed to be in that spotlight and he did a phenomenal job as well. Um, and then we had Panuve. Um, Nuve, who's an amazing fighter, very strategic fighter, and um, he is the team captain is in the boxing uh, team for city Kickbo for for city boxing. Um, so it was good to have worked alongside those boys, and then we also have the other guys which you might not know of, um, who are in the MMA scene as well coming up, who you'll soon see in the UFC, who are fighting on the local show Shuriken, and. Um, uh, it was good to have work alongside those guys and and them help us out and we'd also help them too so uh, we also we need these guys um, just as much as they need us or anything so we all need each other and it's really good to have um, work towards something great um, we all we're all working towards something great within 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 our own rights and um, it was such a great high to go to this fight, the the boxing, the uh, junior far fight um, against junior uh, against uh, Joseph Parker, because uh, we left on such a great high, and it was um, an amazing journey for us. So yeah. How, can you speak to me about your confidence <coughs> levels? Like you, obviously, you're in the UFC mm. making your debut in light heavyweight division, and your main training partner is fighting for a light heavyweight title. How does that like? Give you confidence that like you belong here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I definitely belong here, and I've I've um I've said this before, and I've, I'm I'm oozing with the confidence, and I'm, it's it's great to be alongside someone who's fighting for, you know, a, a champ champ status, like Israel, and then we've got Kai as well, he who's an amazing fighter, and um, I feel great. I feel that nobody can beat us. I feel that if we walk into this arena, we will be unstoppable. Not only because our, our team, but just the surroundings around us, the the presence that we have around us. So I'm feeling great, and I'm, I'm not only physically but mentally. And no, I'm sharp, and I'm I'm doing the right things, and everything's slowly starting to fall into place. And that, like I said before, the the hard training is gone, and now it's more just the mental side, which I'm I can easily do, and and it all comes down to my meditation and and um, being able to to grasp that that side of me, that side of me. So, okay, um, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, so Kennedy in Sichuku, I don't know too much about. I'm, I've I've done a little bit of study, and that, that that's what this week is for. I'll, I'll watch a little bit of video of of him, and I have done in the past just to see what his his tendencies are, and and where he might struggle on, and 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 what he may be better at. at. So, um, I've done a little bit about a uh, little bit of study with him, of him. So it's yeah, I've I've, I've sort of more worked on my craft. Um, as of late, but now this week it's it's time for me to kind of do more of that study. Do you like to focus more on your game plan as opposed to <coughs> planning your fight around another person's game plan or fighting style? Yeah, yeah, I'll focus more on my own game plan. And and like I said, uh, the hard training was you know they don't have really have time to do much study, so because you're working so hard, you're 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 out of out of breath. You're you know taking so much of your energy out of the day from training so um and i i, I leave that to my coaching my coaching that you know they'll go and they'll, they'll watch video and then they'll come back and they'll tell me what i need to work on and i trust that i trust that they'll they know what they're talking about they know what they're doing they've been doing it for years man and that's why we're at the highest peak um and one of the best gyms in the world so i trust that and it's it's now sort of you know my input now that i can i can you know trying to focus on but I, I feel pretty confident, man. It's it's good. What 
So now that you're in the UFC, what is like your goal? Well, now that I'm in the UFC, it, my goal is to just work fight by fight. Um, I know that I know where I I will stand, and I know that I uh, you know I'm 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 faster and I'm stronger, and I'm, I will get better every single time. Every day will come by, and I'll get better and better. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, I know that one day I'll lift that light heavyweight title and. You know, I'll eventually get to heavyweight and then go down to middleweight. <laughs> now, nah, man, it's you know, I know it's just uh, eventually I'll get to that that like heavyweight title. Mm. So yeah, so you you like to plan it, plan or uh, fight by fight as opposed to just jumping to straight to the. Yep. Yeah, I'll just plan it fight by fight as opposed to jumping to um to to thinking about the other fights because you know otherwise I'll get too ahead of myself. Um, but I'll stay calm and and click myself. So that's all it is. Can you talk to me a little about <coughs> the team environment of City Kickboxing? Yeah, the team environment at City Kickboxing is well equipped. We're we're sharp. We all we all keep each other sharp, and we're all positive eyes. We all keep you know a lot of banter going on. I, I'm I'm learning how to how to do more banter because you know I never really grew up along well around banter and all that sort of thing. But um, we're a very positive group. And we, we like to keep it that way we, and have a joke around with each other. So, um, and that's that's what you want is is a group that jokes around and has fun and and that's what you want, you know, going into a job that you love and and um, yeah. Um, now, why should people tune in for your fight? You should tune into my fight because I am going to be the greatest man. I'm going to be one of the best light heavyweight champions of the world so it's um it's just it's just uh, this is my debut one of my most well the most important fight of my career and 